Today's video, we get connected to Wakanda as we have a look at the Kamoyo bead bracelet replica. Yes, today, thanks to the folks over at Toink, we're going to be looking at the authentic, officially licensed Marvel Black Panther bracelets released and manufactured by Sales One. Now, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, I'll put the link down below to Toink. Uh, the price point for the officially licensed Kamoyo beads is $35.99, so about $36. To come included with this, you get yourself a certificate of authenticity indicating this document certifies that this Kamoyo bead bracelet is an authentic Marvel Black Panther bracelet. This bracelet is officially licensed Marvel piece of jewelry manufactured by licensee Sales One LLC. When you get it, uh, it comes in just a little uh, white sleeve and you get a really nice decorative case here in matte black with the Black Panther logo there on the top and a nice foil silver. Um, it is right off the bat, I can tell you, very, very heavy. And there's the back of it right there. Sales One, www.sales1.org made in China. Open it up and immediately inside you've got the Black Panther movie font as well as the Kamoyo beads right here. There's a little bit of disassembly required. There's these little elasticized, little elastic bands that are around the beads. You have to, you have to pull this up. See if I can get my finger actually in there. Come on. There we go. Uh, you have to just go around to the back and undo the fasteners here and then that will allow you to remove the beads. The beads right out and immediately in hand, I can tell you, are very heavy. They are made of a high-end uh, resin and of course, much like the film, where is it right there? You've got the blue bead on the outside here and the silver bead on the interior. Kamoyo, by the way, translates in English to of the spirit, which I guess is really the main message that the whole movie conveys. Living, inhabiting a world and not really changing the world, but being spiritually connected to the world around them and spiritually connected to one another. So it's nice that they would call then these Kamoyo beads being of the spirit. Uh, as for the beads themselves, there are 12 of them. And for the most part, they are unique to one another. Although you will see a couple of uh, carried symbols, sort of a matching game here in which some of the symbols do match one another. But each of them have, each bead has three of its own markings. As you can see, I spin this around. It's a one size fits all bracelet. So, I mean, being that it's also elasticized means that it should be able to fit over most, if not all wrists. The bracelet is made up of a couple of functioning beads, one of which being the prime bead. The prime bead provides a lifetime worth of medical knowledge about the individual Wakandan. From birth, they are given this one bead. There's also, of course, the AV bead, which plays primarily most, if not all, the roles in the film. It's the audio and visual bead that provides a holographic display, allowing them to access the Wakandan database, which is similar to almost like the internet. You'll see that they, in the film, like for example, they'll project a lot of their function screens or if they are wanting to communicate with one another they're using the AV bead and then lastly they also have the communication bead which is another one that is used to communicate with uh, the other Kamoyo bead wearers um, almost as if it's being used like a mobile phone and again they use that in the film as well in which they are communicating to one another it sort of eliminates the use of having to carry around a little portable communication device, really their portability communication is all being done within the beads themselves. So information aside, the beads themselves look really good. They look like they did from the film. And being that they are made out of resin, it means that the beads themselves are heavy. You can feel them in your hand, how heavy they feel, especially when you're having them around your wrist. And if you look at each of the individual markings, what they've done is the recessed area, they filled in with almost like a little white paint. I have noticed a little bit of the paint does flake off. And I don't know if it's actually coming from this area or if it's actually coming from the beads rubbing up against one another. It's the one concern I have for these. And if anything, if I was to be displaying these, I would be more or less be displaying them in the case that they came included with. I don't know if I would suggest wearing these as good as they may look. I mean, obviously if you're cosplaying, for example, you may want to wear these. But one thing I do worry about is being that they are resin, 
Resin is not something by its nature that is good if it wears it or rubs against something. It's already started a little bit on some of the areas. You can see a little bit of uh, the flaking has already started happening, basically where the beads are rubbing against one another. They give enough space. I mean, the beads aren't uncomfortably close together. And obviously, when you are putting it around, say, for example, a wrist, your wrist, depending on how thick your wrist is, is naturally going to be separating those beads from one another anyways. But if you are having them always being put on, always taking them off, for example, that's the one thing that I'm a little worried about, just these rubbing up against one another. I guess if you're keeping it in the display case, which is probably how I'm going to have them displayed, I don't think they're going to have that much of an issue because you're not really going to be moving them around as much. One thing I really like is the blue bead here and the silver bead. It almost as looks as if it's a foil, like a metallic foil that is underneath this plast plastic clear dome. It really almost has a look as if it's lighting up on its own. It just does a great job of capturing the light, depending on which way you're, which angling that you're, you're facing it. Of course, as you can guess it, the, this bead, this one right here, is a little bit smaller. You probably can see it right there. It's a little bit smaller than this one. Um, as they've sort of cut off and halved both sides of it, and then they've added the clear domes on the top and on the bottom. Yeah, just showing you a close-up look at one of the beads here. You can see that the paint, this gunmetal gray that they've added on the beads, has worn off or rubbed off here, revealing a almost shinier resin underneath. Now, that may not be everyone's beads, but I do feel the need to, I just want to mention it to you guys that, again, you want to be careful with these. The longevity of them would certainly be determined by how frequently you are wearing them. I'm guessing providing that you're not rubbing these against one another too frequently, they should last you a very long time. If you're cosplaying, of course, with these, you're going to be rubbing these against one another a little bit more frequently, and you'll probably start seeing a little bit more of this happening on a regular basis. The Kamoyo bead bracelet is a beautiful replica that we saw several wear in the film Black Panther. Even though it's not made out of vibranium, sorry to disappoint you guys, and it doesn't project images of the other individuals from Wakanda that you're going to be talking to, it is pretty close to what you would have get from the film. It's nice and weighted, it feels durable, at least from a weight standpoint. I like that it's not made out of plastic. Making it out of resin makes it feel like a piece of jewelry and not just something that you would buy in mass retail, so I really do like that. Of course, with that being resin, one of the problems that I stressed over the course of this review is you can wear it, don't get me wrong, but excessive wearing it and having those beads rubbing up against one another, the friction alone may cause a little bit of chipping. Just understand that when you want to pick these ones up for yourself. With the holiday season now fast approaching and trying to think of that great gift idea to maybe a friend or family member, if they are a big fan of the Black Panther film, you may want to consider picking this one up for them. At the price point being $35.99, you can currently find this over at Toink, and I'll put the link down below. Today we were having a look at the Black Panther, this was the prop replica of the Kamoyo Bri a bead bracelet, which is pretty cool, I have to admit. If you guys haven't a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Certainly more videos are going to be coming your way and with this being the holiday season we're going to have a look at some other great gift ideas that you may want to consider getting for that special someone in your life as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time